Grow Home, a charming and floaty experience. Grow Home is an open world platformer where you play as a robot named Bud. Your mission in this game is to grow this giant beanstalk-like star plant up to your home base in order to oxygenate the planet you're on. You grow the star plant by riding star shoots to energy rocks. Star shoots are buds that grow on the star plant as it grows, and you get to control these things which I didn't know I could do until the final stretch of the game. Needless to say, I was frustrated with the seemingly meaningless and random star shoots going all over the place, only to find out I've been playing the game wrong the whole time. Once I figured this out, this game became much less frustrating frustrating to me, but not completely unfrustrating. The controls in this game are far too floaty. Your robot character feels completely weightless. You rely mostly on your grip by using any of the four shoulder buttons to control a separate arm, and even that isn't all too reliable. Bud would constantly slip when I jump from stock to stock, leaving me to fall to my death only to respond at my most recently activated checkpoint and climb again, and again, and again. The weightless feeling needless to say greatly hinders your platforming experience as you have no idea where you're going to land after a jump and you seemingly have no control over your character once in air. Thankfully you do get a jetpack and are able to pick up leaves and flowers to float but these items don't equalize the floatiness of the platforming and can sometimes even add to the frustration of feeling no control. The jetpack will definitely become your best friend as you're screaming at the screen for constantly cheap feeling deaths due to the platforming and grip. You can upgrade this jetpack by collecting crystals throughout the world to eventually be able to completely fly around at no risk by the game's end, making collectibles in this game actually worthwhile, and the world is intriguing enough to want to explore in search of new caves and other secret areas. You can also grab items and animals that inhabit the planet to work towards unlocking a special skin. There are two special skins in this game that give an added perk beyond pure cosmetics, one for collecting all the creatures and plants, and one for doing the bonus mission after you complete the game. The issue with this is the complete the game part. What's the point in keeping special perk skins to when you've already completed or nearly completed the game? Why bother to collect everything and have the ability to make star shoots grow twice as long when I've got a jetpack that never runs out of fuel by that time? It's pointless. This is also one of those games that don't autosave and it did crash on me causing me to lose all progress. Thankfully it happened after I collected everything and beat the game and not while I was on my way to doing so. So be cautious, save and quit frequently, which won't really cross your mind as this game is only about 5 hours long. Grow Home is a charming game that I ultimately enjoyed, but its floaty controls tried really hard to stop me. I give Grow Home a 7.5 out of 10. If you played Grow Home, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up. If you like the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And tune in Monday for first impressions where you find out what game we're playing next. Thanks for watching.